So for this problem, I'm simply finding the inverse of this function, and then I'm going to find the domain for this function and the domain of the inverse function. So starting off by solving the inverse function, I'm simply going to swap out x and y. So f of x is the same thing as saying y, so this is going to be equal to x is equal to the cosine of y plus 2 plus 1. So then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start getting y by itself again. Start doing that by subtracting 1 is equal to the cosine of y plus 2. I'm going to take the inverse cosine, get y plus 2 by itself, x minus 1, and then I'm going to subtract 2 from that. All right, so this is our inverse function right here. And yeah, this is y. OK. Now, we want to find the domain. So I'm going to start off by finding the domain of the inverse function. So simply, uh, your domain here, you're limited between negative 1, x, going to 1. So what you're going to do is you're going to set x minus 1 is equal to negative 1. And then you're going to set x minus 1 is equal to 1. So you add 1 to this, and you end up with x is equal to 0. And then you add 1 to this, you end up with x is equal to 2. So that gives you your bounds there, 0 and 2. So for a regular function, our domain for our regular function, f, yeah, come on, I don't know why it does this, it freezes out on me. Come on. All right. So our domain for a regular function is going to be negative infinity to infinity. And for our inverse function, it's going to be brackets, because it includes a value, 0 to 2. And that's our solutions.